This is Betty Banjack, and this is Look Who's Cooking. And today I have a very, very special guest. Most of you will know who he is without my saying his name, but I'll, I will anyway say it. It's Hank Sisko. And Hank is Mr. Italian himself, I think, of all uh, Norristown. Were you born in Norristown, Hank? I'm born in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Oh, uh, boy, this makes it even better. The story gets involved. <laughs> when did you come to Norristown? Well, uh, just, I was around uh, my mother about mother and father moved to Brooklyn for a short period of time. I was born to come back, and then the rest of the so, seven no. family was born in Norristown. I know your sister. I want to talk to that. What are you going to do for us, Hank? Well, we're going you to know, have... we only have 30 minutes for this show. 30 minutes. Okay. 30 minutes. You're we're going to have to... Manja. You're going to have to weave and Look bob. Is steaks. that your... We're going to bob and weave. Oh, and bob and weave. Slide. I said that... And, uh, you know, everybody goes to different restaurants and all these fancy restaurants, but let me tell you, when it's all said and done, they wind up with a hokey or pizza. And what we have, we have some pizza over here, mm -hmm. and I think the lucky ones from the Norristown <laughs> High School that come up here after this show are going to be... Uh, it's uh, a real treat today. It's a real treat. And uh, so we're, we're happy. Now I'm going to make uh, cheese steaks, uh, and I want to, first off, thank uh, Lou's... Uh, Lou's Steak and Hoagie Shop down on East Main Street that donated me all the ingredients for the hoagies and oh. and uh, and Ooh. also Country Hawk and Bakery with all the rolls and uh, and we have a surprise and, and a at surprise the end. And you're at gonna, the end. It's, We're it's big on surprises. It's wonderful. So, so stick around and uh, rig up an appetite and uh, I'm going to try to uh, get this thing moving here. We got the, our steak or cooking. Um, one thing about Norristown. Uh, I think, I, I, I can't say that the, the, the sep was invented in Norristown. They claim but, it was. But <laughs> I'll, I'll claim it, and, and, and I'll just like I say, well, I, Norristown is a champ, and if you want to be this, give me the information. But years ago, way back, uh, when I was just a little youngster, there was a fellow by the name of Jimmy the Zepp. Nobody knew his last name, but he had a little Zepp shop down on East Main Street near Mill Street. And uh, the, the small Zepp was... 10 cents, and the big one's 35 cents. So there was a big one, and, and the regular, they call it Zepp, I guess, because of uh, the shape like a Zeppelin, or they call them a submarine, because they, uh, it looks like a submarine. And then now, they come Zepp around. is not a hoagie. It, yeah, well, it's that, still you know, different. I, I think, now the history behind a hoagie, it's the same ingredients, but if you want to put lettuce, and some put olives, you can put anything, just like a pizza pie, you can put whatever you want on it, you know. But basically, the, and I'll show you our ingredients with the, the real Zepp, Jimmy the Zepp. And then from there we have um, Lim Fonts and uh, Lou's been there since 19, I think 1941. I mean, close to 60 years and still in Norristown, still making Zepps. You know, and, when uh, I was a kid and I lived in Phoenixville, periodically on a Saturday, my uncle and I would go around the neighborhood right. to all the families and take Zepp orders. Yeah. And we drive to Norristown and go home with 20 or 30 Zeps right, for right. people in the neighborhood. That was a real treat. Well, this is my favorite food. I mean, I could, I could eat this for the rest of my life. Of course, I wouldn't live long well, eating you know, only I, this. I, don't, I, I never heard anybody dying of it, you know. But uh, well, uh, <laughs> okay. So you're working on your steaks. But my steaks are cooking here, and basically, when you a cheese steak, um, you do you on a hot grill is hot, and. Um, frozen. We put it on the, on the grill when it's frozen, and we have different places we'll chop it up, and, and just almost like ground meat, you know. But uh, my, my brother has a, uh, had uh, a um, step shop in Flower Town, and he's been there for over 50 years. And we just cook the steak, and we put it on the roll, and, and that's about it. Well, you know, let me tell you something happened. Two weeks ago, I was at a, a conference. Philadelphia National Council of Juvenile Court Judges and DAs, and and it was judges and district attorneys from all over the country, uh, and they was at the convention center. Keep what cooking. It's cooking. Okay. It's cooking. <laughs> it's cooking. Come on, baby, cook. And, you know, uh, I have to understand. Let me so get back they, to your so story. They, they but I want to say one thing. Good. Hank has a lot of guts. He just bought this grill. Yep, has never yep. used it. Yep. Is not sure of its temperature. So well, it, it's, I have it's to working. give him that. Uh, I got it on full steam. But let me say this. So naturally, Philadelphia wanted to show everybody about Philadelphia steak. Well, I was proud, and and, and that and uh, the cheese steak that they had for this convention, they put garlic on it. That is a, like a mortal sin. You don't put garlic on a cheese steak. 
Remember that, everybody. Okay. No garlic Don't on put, your cheese steak. The only thing you put is the steak. If you, you want to put onions on it, you want to put mushrooms on it, you can you can add on it. You can put salt if you want, but that's it, okay? But uh, So I'm going to write a letter to the convention. Can you put cheese on convention. it? Oh, yeah, and if you want a uh, 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 cheese steak, then you put the cheese on top. That's when it's already cooked. Come on, baby, cook. Now, my onions are pre-cooked. They're ready to roll. And one other trick when you make a cheesesteak is make sure that you have a good, fresh roll, okay? And these rolls are from Country Hawk and Bakery. Let me tell you, the greatest. And, and just about when the steak is almost done, almost cooked, then you put the roll on top and you heat the roll. And that gives it a little extra zip. Yeah. To put a, a steak on a cold roll like it, it, it's not not very good. So this gives it a little bit more, it, a little more zip, you know, you like uh, like Emerald say, it kicks it up a notch. Yeah. Okay. Does, do you put sauce on yours at all? Some people well, do, some people put, don't. Some put sauce, you know, it's it's it all depends. The same thing you put spaghetti, you know, you yeah. put spaghetti with meatballs, spaghetti with sausage, you know, whatever you want. But basically, a cheese steak, the steak, the onions, if you want it. Put the cheese on top, with or without cheese, but warm your roll up, and and that that'll do the job. Okay, and then that's your cooking here. What, would you put hot peppers on a cheese steak or a and, steak? And hot peppers optional. Here it is. And uh, it's that would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate that, you know, I've been hot died. peppers. Uh, you know, it, it all depends on what you like. I, uh, I can't eat hot peppers. I I I, I, I can't uh, I can't handle them. But uh, but what I do is I get a fork or a spoon, I get it and I dip it in the hot pepper and then I just rub it on oh, the top nice. and it just yeah. gives, it the, gives it the flavor, see? But here it is, here we're going. We're cooking now, baby. All right, now see here, I'm not chopping it up. I was watching Emerald and the guy was, or I don't know which one of them cooks, and he was cooking pork chops. And he says, cook the pork chops, had the lid on it. He says, don't be sticking the fork in there. So when you do that, the juice comes out. Okay. Keep the juice in there. So, I, I, you know, I, I feel if you want to eat ground uh, hamburger, then order a hamburger. Sloppy if you want Joe, a steak, huh? here it is, right here. Okay, ready? Whoa! Here, in there, right there. There's your steak. Move it over. Here, boom. Put your cheese, put your onions on it. There she is. Okay, Here's where's my plate. dish? Here's your plate. Man, I'm telling you, kids today are going to get all a A's in their reports so they eat these cheese steaks and, and hoagies. Here we go. There we go. Another one? Got one oh, more. One Two. more? Yikes. Yeah, this is for the camera crew. Oh, the camera crew. Huh? Keep them. You Did everybody have strength. breakfast this morning? Here you are. Look at that. Beautiful. I didn't. Beautiful. I didn't eat breakfast today. Isn't that some? There it is. I knew Hank was coming, Woo! so. Now, if you want hot pepper, let's, let's put hot pepper on the side. If you want to put tomatoes, put tomatoes. Let me tomatoes, just move these tomatoes. tomatoes so now, we can there's get also, this. they call it cheesesteak hoagie. Just make a hoagie and put the cheesesteak on top. But, you know, you really have to have an appetite for that. See? Now, I'll turn my grill off here, and, uh, and then later we'll make a couple more. But right now, let's move over to the history of... Let me open this for you. The tomatoes. The tomatoes. Tomatoes and tomatoes, right? Yeah. Now, the hoagie. This is a large hoagie, okay? This is a round hoagie. You'll, you'll get a round hoagie. Right, and then the it's a small hoagie. The meat fits in here better. What's that? <laughs> the meat fits in here better. You don't well, get as yeah, much, but it yeah, seems to it's, fit it's in right. there better. But uh, it seems like uh, you get more the other oh, way. Oh yeah. Now, my knife. Da 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 da. You know, when you when you make hoagies, or whenever you cook, I think food likes music. And I Hank's think music sing and food. For us. So when you go to cook here, you say. When the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza pie, that's Lamora. Hey, all right. All right, now, you put the provolone cheese. The provolone cheese is cow's milk, okay, but it's cured a little bit longer, sometimes three months or so, and then the, and it, they age it. And if it goes a little longer, then it's... Now, always remember, when you put the cheese on, make sure that the cheese goes to the, over the end. So you don't have, when you first bite, you bite oh, in the yeah. bread. So here it is. Put it, extend it out, over, over, and make sure it covers there, right? The cheese first. 
then the cooked salami, okay? And who are we making? The zep or the hoagie? This is a zep. Oh, okay. A hoagie, the history behind a hoagie, they say that there was uh, the Hog, Hog Island was a, a shipyard, and guys used to uh, want a, a, a hoagie, a, a, a sandwich, and that guy down at the Hog Island, Hog, so the island dropped out, and they call it Hog, and then from Hog it went to Hoagie, but the zep is the thing that we're talking about, and they give them all its fancy names. They call it zep, they call it Hoagie, and up Submarine. around Boston they call them jawbreakers, another part of the country they call them heroes. Submarines. Uh, Zeps, zep, the zeppelins, uh, submarines. So, and uh, grinders. A grinder is nothing but a but a hoagie they put in the in the uh, in the uh, oven. Oven. Yeah. Right. Oh, I like up. those. So you see here that your meat extends out over the end. Okay. Then after that, what now that's a, that's the large hoagie. Okay. Now here's the small hoagie. Okay. One, two. You need three pieces for three that. Three pieces. Whatever. If you want to, if you want to be a manjun. Manju means that we we'll eat a lot, okay? Then you get the salami, and one over here, extend it over. So when you bite, you'll bite into the, to the meat and the ingredients. Now, one other thing I want to show you. Now, you see the difference between the salami, okay? Now, this is really, this is Italian Genova salami, which is more expensive, okay? So when you say, I want a, I want a, a zep, but I want... Genova salami, which means, well, you're going to pay a little extra because this is more expensive. But that is a, uh, a uh, salami that's a little bit more expensive than real Italian. Okay, so I'll make is one this, here. This, is this super sod? And that's a poop, super sod. That's all. You want to show the things yeah, here? here. Let me and that's take out our flags. They're uh, donated by uh, Dolce Vita restaurant over in Bridgeport. Here with cheeses and super Dolce sauce. Vita. Nice restaurant to uh, serve all kinds of food. Now, this one I'm going to make with Genova salami. Now, this will take more salami because it's smaller cuts. It'll be really expensive. Yeah, yeah, this is good. <laughs> I don't know who we're going to give this to, the superintendent, the principal? Betty. Uh, Betty! <laughs> hey, did I, did I holler too loud on that one, Rock? No, that's okay. There it is. We're not Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Now, that's the beginning. Now, you got the round one. Sometime you'll go to a place and they'll give you a zep on a round roll. That's no small, problem. isn't it? Okay. Isn't but that considered small? We'll put two in, two here, and we'll put a couple cooked salamis in there. One, two. All right. Now we got that. Now here we go. The next thing we do, we have the, the two different kinds of salami. We have the onion. Okay. Now you use a Bermuda onion is your, your best bet to make uh, hoagies. Bermuda. I have them cut here. Compliments of Lou's uh, Steak Shop down on East Main Street. It's been in business since 1941. Unbelievable. Now, see the way this onion is going in here? Beautiful. Just lay it out there. Nice. Here it is. And then you have to sing to it. We Marie, we Marie, quando notte bruciato per te. Let's see, Emerald don't sing. But I sing. Somebody sings. Love. It's an Italian it's cook that sings. Italian cook. you got to sing Italian songs. Yeah, what's his name? Now. I don't remember his name. Oh, oh yeah, the one guy, Mario. Something. Then no, the onion, one. then the tomato. And if you want to be tomato from the main line, okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's a tomato. And this goes right to the end, okay? Beautiful. And here it is. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. Okay, one, two, three. This is the small zep. This is the round zep. Two. Okay. Now, what we do? You got to season a little bit. Okay. You put a little salt on the tomato. Okay. Yeah, that brings the. Put that you got to yeah. Let's snap it up. Now, your oil. I mean your uh, oregano. Okay. Hit just touch it. Now some people you like oil or oregano, some don't. But if you want a zep. You know the old story, if you want to swim, you got to get in the water. So here it is. Okay, a little oregano. Now you got a close up on this thing? Beautiful, beautiful, okay? Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, now this is the holy water, okay? This, is, holy, what, um, this is the oil, this is what makes it uh, very, very good, okay? So here we go. Just, you know, it's just, just, just enough. 
and on the tomatoes it goes, right? That's interesting. I know a lot of people put it on the bread and it makes the bread soggy. Well, no, no. Then you, you get a soggy sandwich. You, you put it, you flavor just like you do a, a salad. You put this uh, vinegar in oil. And another thing about when you have a salad, you just have oil and vinegar. Always put the vinegar on first. If you put the oil on first, it coats the lettuce, and right. then the vinegar can't penetrate. Right. See? Right. Now, there it is. That's, That's your hoagie, one. right? Yeah. Now, if you want hot pepper on it, then you just get it, and, and you just put a little. Not a lot. Just enough to don't let one thing overpower another thing. Like, if you order a sandwich, the guy says, well, he's going to give you a bread. You're going to put extra salami. Yeah. You take it away. You've got to balance it, you know? There used to be a and restaurant in Phoenixville called The Trio that knew my father well. I heard of that, So yes. they would put yeah. on extra meat and all. Oh, yeah. And I never liked it yeah, as much, much as their normal um, sandwich, you know. It was just enough before. Yep. My brother, I, I worked over at my brother's place over in Flower Town for, oh, how many, how, many, how many years? He's been here for over 50 years. Just goes bar right there in Flower Town, and he's been making hoagies uh, you know, for, for many years. But it, like I say, if you want to put extra oil on, you can, but just put it on the tomatoes to flavor them, okay? Now, um, now what next? Now we got the cheesesteak, right? Yeah. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the cheesesteaks on the grill here so it'll keep them warm a little bit. How's that? Okay, that's a good idea. All right. I, I, I see think you turned the grill off, though, Frank. Huh? You turned the grill off. Yeah, I know, off. but I just, I'm just going to just, <laughs> just a little bit. Turn up. it up a little. You're, you're pretty sharp, you know. You're watching that, right? Oh, yeah. That's yeah, what okay. they, <laughs> that's how I got now, this job. I had to be sharp. <laughs> <laughs> now, the uh, provolone cheese comes in different you shapes. You see here, there's oh. a little provolone and different shapes. Sometimes they have it like a great big uh, provolone, and uh, you can age it and then you can grade cheese but right now this is for cutting and also for our sandwiches here you know what this is heavy <laughs> yeah now one other thing we have compliments. Pizza? tomato pie so you have tomato yeah. pie today now today okay. compliments of country hawk and bakery again tomato pie okay so this is uh you know they make the dough and the difference between a tomato pie and a pizza, and a pizza see? Well, this but is this cold. Is yeah. You can eat these cold, or you can put them in a white microwave and heat it up, or a toaster. Put up the saran, what is it, not saran wrap, but tin foil yeah. underneath, and then put it in your toaster. But and I understand. Not, not this up and down toaster, the other kind. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. the yeah. But I, but I this is only a dough, tomato sauce, and a little cheese, right? That's it. That's, That's it. it. Simple. Simple stuff, you know. It's you like the peasants many. ate that in Italy a lot. If you get too many ingredients, it's no good. No good. Okay. Now, uh, is there any questions? Uh, Do I have, que I have lots of questions. I got my little Italian-American flag. Yeah, we have okay. them, and we have lots of bread. Okay, we got the bread. Are you going to make put cheese on one of those? Now, all right, now, that's it. Um, see now, all right. Okay, now, you'll see here, I'll move it over. My, if you want to... Some people want cheese steak. So what you do is while it's still on the grill, I'm going to put it back over here, and just a couple pieces of cheese. Is it American or it's just American your cheese? American cheese. American cheese on a cheese steak. But if you want provolone cheese, some people want, but basically a cheese steak like down Pat's and uh, Gino's and then and, uh, uh, and, and Lou's, it's always... American cheese, unless you request it. If you request it, then... Well, Pat's or Geno's in Philadelphia, right? you just put that over right? there just keep it warm. You mean in Philadelphia, Pat's or Geno's. One Pat's of them uses Cheese Whiz. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah there's a big, I mean, there's a big yeah. uh, battle between Pat's and, and Geno's. And Geno's, yeah. And who uses Cheese Whiz and who uses cheese and yeah. what's good and what's better and what well, you like. I like it this way. I know that other stuff is, you know, it's getting too uh, fancy. You don't want to get away from the basic, you know. That's, that's what this is all about. But um, our cheese, our um, our cheese steak is uh, heating up here. Now, like I, like I mentioned, now if you wanted a cheese steak hoagie, okay, as this is warming up here, nothing more than if you're really hungry and you're really what they call a a, a manjun, okay, manjun means eats a lot. You can you can taste that. Yes, oh, that's can good. I taste it? And then if they say, well, I want a cheese steak hoagie, no problem. Here's your cheesesteak. I mean, here's your hoagie, and here comes the cheesesteak. Make sure you... Uh, 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 hello you there. Here, get hello another there. tomato. Oh, I got 
and season it. Oh, see, and oil it. And oil it. Better put the holy water there. I think I told Hank this before, but I don't remember if I really did. I used to work with your sister, Frances. Oh, yeah? For a long time. We worked at Gordon of Philadelphia, clothing oh. manufacturer. Oh, well, that was clothing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we didn't cook. I didn't always cook. <laughs> I'm the cooking now. Actually, my... You know, my job's at the library. Look and at I that. That's what you hobby. call a cheesesteak hoagie. Here's another. That, if you really <laughs> hungry. <laughs> uh, We're we'll having trouble, aren't we? Uh, here we go. Actually, because I'm too busy eating. I only eating. dropped the tomatoes, so no problem. We'll pick that up a little later. Now, we have a little bit more time, do we? What do we got? How many more minutes? Cisco's. Rah, rah. Got to get this. And Whoops. <laughs> and then. Cisco's. Zeps and hoagies. Right, right. <laughs> Let me tell you. There's nothing like a good cheesesteak on a cold day. On a cold day. There's nothing like it. I can do this because he's really not in business. <laughs> now, this, is, this should say Hank Cisco's Steaks and Hoagies. Isn't that they call the Cisco Kid. Got a lot of different well, names. You did, did a lot of uh, things in your life. You were a Yeah, I'm a former police officer in Norristown, and then I worked in the district attorney's office for uh, 13 years or so. And uh, working head juveniles. Most of my job was uh, working with juveniles. When I was the police in Morristown, the head of the juvenile division. Were you in pa connected with Pal or I, I had Pal had the boxing team uh, years ago. In fact, we were state champions uh, yeah. as kids. And they, they have a little gym right at City Hall. And uh, you know, it, it, it teach kids uh, a little bit how to how to defend themselves and not to be aggressive. Sometimes we read in the paper about about these bullies. I think and they get the bullies. I like to get a pair of boxing gloves and. Put them in with one of my channel their aggression. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I he's, he's very good friends uh, with one of my favorite people that I ever met with, uh, Michael Grant. Oh yeah, Mike uh, Grant. Michael in Grant. fact, he's fighting on the 16th in California. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's uh, he's doing well. You know. Michael did one of my shows when I used to be on PCTV. Yeah. He made oh what, sweet potato casserole. Yeah. Do you know that <laughs> recipe is made by more people? My mother lives oh, yeah? in a senior complex building type thing. Everyone in that building makes that casserole all the oh, time. God. They just, they like it, you know. Oh, but I always, he was always a favorite of mine because one of the things he yeah, was he's, he's a lot taller than I yeah. was, which was unusual. He, he missed out. He fought for the championship of the world, and uh, yeah. he got uh, beat, but uh, he'll be back. You know, I always yeah. laugh about Michael. He, uh, when you first see him, if he's not smiling, oh. he looks yeah. fighter right. persona. Right. He's going to kill you. Once he smiles, yeah, he's yeah, a pussy yeah, cat, yeah. you know. Yeah, you know, he's very mild. Well, so anything else you want to add to all thing this I, food? Thing I talk about we have a I, surprise. Oh, oh yeah, but one thing I talk about: you can put lettuce on there, you can put olives on, you can put anything. But this is the basic zep. You can't go wrong with it, okay? And you can add anything you want, but that is basic the uh, uh, in the cheesesteak. And don't put garlic on the cheesesteak, period, or on the zep. I'm now, making room for the surprise. Our surprise of the day. What do we got enough time for the surprise? Yeah, we can surprise. Okay. We can now, put it right here. Now, how are we going to do this? Uh, you go back there, okay. and I'll go back there, and I'll throw that away. Here we go. Uh, got it? See. He got it. You're not going to get this whole, I don't know if you can get this whole thing on. You have to really back it up, I guess, to do that. But here we have a six-foot hoagie. Six-foot hoagie. Can you see this, can you? Let me see. That's uh, Hank's end. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's humongous. It goes that. behind now, the basket. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn around and I'm going to cut it. And uh, I know some people down in the office, when some, as I was coming up, they could smell it. And uh, so they said they want some. So we're going to well, see that. We'll give it out to whoever the staff and then uh, some of the students. So uh, can well, we one turn of that around? Yeah, so one I can of the things. Uh, one of the things I want. We used to have a, a, a rule that if you wanted food, you had to come get it. But today, since we have so much food, why don't we bring it back here again? Watch, watch the chair. The huh? cable. The cable with the chair. Oh, okay. I'm okay. You don't want me to check myself, Hank? This is really large, as you can see. Now. It's beautiful. Can I? Can I start cutting that? Sure, why don't you start cutting that? Here we go. And uh, hopefully we have a lot of hungry eaters that will be here to... Uh, there he goes. He's starting. Do you want to serrate it nice, Hank? We are. We are. We My got head. Let me put it over here. Here. Oh, you're going to do a little yeah. at a time. 
I'm going to try this knife. This is an excellent knife. This is mine. I brought this all the way from home. Sorry. For it. I, ha I like these knives. Now. Ready? Here we have That's one. That's a nice size. That's a nice size piece. So we're going to have to go now and see how many people we can feed. <laughs> Half the How about Nars somebody can. coming over here and taking... Yeah, does anyone want to taste this on camera? Come on. Get on camera taking some of this. Want got a lot of food here. I don't think anyone's coming. Oh, here comes the door's here opening. Here comes somebody. How about Mr. Green? Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. You want this piece? <laughs> Get there, take a cheesesteak. Right. Yeah, yeah sure. Right. That's what we're waiting for. Yeah, this is really good. Listen, we're going to have to go. So this is Betty Banjack and Hank Cisco and Jason Green from the communications department. In fact, he's the director of communications. He was on a few weeks ago. You remember him. I want to. Uh, I just want to say one little thing. When I was in the Army, I got a medal. I saved my whole company. I shot the cook. <laughs> uh, little Did you really? Up, you know, uh, Did you really? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, so we're going to have to go now because time's sort of creeping up on us. So uh, we'll see you soon. Bye now. Arrivederci. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>